Oh my gosh, I really thought I tired him out enough to film. <laughs> Apparently Stella has energy too. Ouch! I thought you were calm. <laughs> Ouch. This video is so much more chaotic than I thought it would be. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. This is my dog Stella and this is my new puppy Stanley. Stanley's about nine and a half weeks right now. Stella is about two and a half years old. We've had him for about a week. We picked him up at eight weeks old. I wanna share a lot of Stanley's puppyhood journey on here. Oh my gosh, she's waking up and starting to get energy. So I thought it would be great to start with a puppy haul video. Apparently Stella has energy too. This is gonna be really hard to film with two dogs. So I've got a bunch of Stanley's puppy stuff out here. Because he is the second miniature dash hound in the family, I already have a lot of things from Stella that he's gonna be able to use. For example, we've got ramps on all of the furniture that the dogs can get onto. So I didn't have to buy any of those. Stella has tons of leashes, collars, poop bags, holders, grooming tools. Oh my gosh, I really thought I tired him out enough to film. <laughs> so I didn't really buy him much of that stuff. We did get him one collar and one leash that I will be showing, but there are a few new things that we got for him that I thought would be fun to share with you guys. Stella's got a toy. So I guess I'll start with his toy since I'm trying to distract him with this. We got him a few of these crinkly plush toys. These are just from the Dollar Tree. They have like crinkle sounds in the little tail and then the head is just like a regular plush with a squeaker. Stella loves squeakers. I don't know where he's trying to go. Let's see. Stella's going for the steal. The next set of toys I got him are these West Paw toys. Actually, this one might help him. Stella already has these two toys. Hers are in blue, so we don't get them mixed up, but this little ball is her favorite ball in the entire world. And then this bone is just really great for chewing. These are some of the only toys that Stella hasn't been able to destroy. Like, there are no dents. She's not chewing them apart. I don't have to worry about her eating them. They're some of my favorite dog toys Ever, and they also come in so many different shapes and sizes. So I got the ball for fetch, the bone for chewing, and then this one that's keeping him a little distracted is kind of like a little bowl, and you can stuff it with food, treats, dog safe veggies, peanut butter, Greek yogurt, basically any kind of treat. Stella really wants it, it has peanut butter in it right now. And sometimes it helps if you stick it in the freezer. So what I've been doing for Stella, because I also got her a blue one, you know, I'll let her have this is I soak her kibble in water so it gets nice and nasty and soggy and then I stuff it in there with a few carrots and a little bit of peanut butter and then I freeze it and it makes for a great treat because obviously she's really excited about it but it also is a really great mental way to tire out your dog it keeps them busy and it works their brain trying to get all the treats and the food out of it so these are some of my favorite toys highly recommend for puppies and honestly any age of dog okay let's put these away next up are these binders well actually only this one's for Stanley this one is Stella's binder I shared it a while ago when Stella was a puppy Ouch. This video is so much more chaotic than I thought it would be. So Stella's a little bit more full than Stanley's. But basically, I just got these white binders from, I think, the dollar store. I don't know. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Then I just printed off a sheet of paper for the cover page. You can do any design, any font you want. You don't even need a cover page if you don't want to. And inside are my puppy binder inserts that I made and I saw them on my website. I just noticed Stella's binder has some bite marks in it. But basically what the binder, ouch! This teething is so bad. Basically what the binder is for is to keep all of his vaccine certificates, any training that he does. I thought you were calm. There's a potty tracker. The front page has all the puppy's information. 
Stella. <laughs> so it's got his name, it's got my address, my phone number, vet information. Stella's has her microchip number. Stanley doesn't have a microchip. Basically, if someone were to find the binder or if I were to leave him with a puppy sitter, it has all the information that person would need. And it's just an easy place to keep all of his vaccine training, every kind of information that he's gonna get. So if you're interested in getting that for your puppy, they are up on my website. I'll leave a link down below. Basically, you buy a digital download. You get emailed the files immediately. You can print them right then and there. You can put them in a binder like I did. You could put them on a clipboard, on your fridge. You could bind them, laminate them, literally anything. And I found it super helpful for Stella, so we did the same thing for Stanley. Next, this is his food and water bowl. Stella has the exact same ones. I got Stella's at, I think it was Winners. Winners or Marshalls, one of those type of stores. They just say, feed me, and then the other one says thirsty. They're um, a ceramic material. I find it's perfect for their pre because it's just the right height. So I got the same for Stanley, but Stella's are pink, Stanley's are gray. And Stanley's I actually found on Facebook Marketplace, which I always recommend buying secondhand if you can. Same with Stanley's crate, that was also a Marketplace purchase. I definitely recommend buying your crate secondhand. Just because there's so many of them, puppies only use them for a certain amount of time. If you're not the type of person who wants your dog to have the crate forever, a lot of people will buy them and use them for the first few months, and then they don't need them anymore. Stella, you're being so loud. Just make sure that you clean it out really well. Obviously, wash it, sanitize it, everything you can. Stella and Stanley's crate are both 17 by 24 by 19, and they're just regular black wire crates. Next up, we've got his leash and collar. Just this little tiny skinny little leash and this is his collar, so tiny. Literally fits like around my wrist. We got these from a pet store called Pet Value. I'm pretty sure they're cat size, maybe puppy size, but I just got the smallest size I could find. He wears this around the house almost 24 seven. He does like to chew it, we're trying to work on that. And then on his collar, we've got this super cute little tag from Wandering North Co. I'll also link her Instagram down below in case you wanna order a custom tag. She just makes really nice hand stamped tags. Stella has two or three of them. Stella's has trees and mountains. Stanley's has trees and water and a little canoe. And then of course there's a phone number on the back. For treats, of course Stella's gonna come running now. <laughs> The main type of treat we're using with him is this Performatrin Ultra Limited Freeze Dried Chicken Liver. The ingredients are literally chicken liver. I've showed these in videos before because it's Stella's go-to treat as well. Usually I get the beef liver, this time I went with chicken. Obviously they both really enjoy it. There you go, Stanley, you're just here. We've been mostly using these ones just because they're freeze dried, they're super soft and powdery, easy for him to chew. But another one we've been using is these Crumps Naturals. I think I showed them in my last video with Stella. These ones are beef lung and the ingredients are beef lung. These ones I think he's only had a couple times just because they are harder and crunchier. And I'm just paranoid about him choking. <laughs> But basically any kind of treat where there's just one ingredient that is a meat-based ingredient will work really well for your puppy. Now that I've opened these, he's not gonna calm down until I let him have some. Stanley is much more food motivated than Stella is. And lastly, just for a little shameless plug, Stanley's got his little bandana from Hazel Hound. He's in our smallest size, which is extra, extra small. Look, stand still so everyone can see. I gave him an orange one because all his toys are orange. His color is just orange right now. If you don't know, Hazel Hound Petwear is my petwear business. It's got a ton of handmade items, mostly dog bandanas like this that just snap on and off. And I find they work really well for Dash Hounds because when I was buying Stella's bandanas, they were dragging on the floor. Like they were way too big for her. The knots were super chunky. So these ones are made so they kind of look more like a little scarf or a handkerchief. They don't touch the floor, they don't trip on them with their little legs. But anyways, those are all the new things that we bought for Stanley. I do wanna film a Q&A with him. Ouch, that was my finger. So if you have any questions about training, him and Stella, where we got him, literally anything to do with Stanley, leave a comment down below and I'll answer them in an upcoming video. But that's everything for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below and I'll see you guys next time.